For this adventure, a group of friends and I uh, decided to spend a little bit of time in the uh, San Juan Mountains in Colorado around um, Silverton, Uray, and Creed. We were heading up the highway from Durango towards Silverton and we found that the uh, highway was blocked. Um, there was a, a pretty bad accident up ahead, I guess, and there was some miles of uh, traffic on the road. So we decided it was late enough in the day that uh, there were, we knew there were some good camping spots uh, not, not far away, so we uh, basically found a spot along Lime Creek. And it wasn't uh, far off the highway, so we could actually see the helicopter taking off and uh, going uh, towards the hospital. I hope the person's okay. We're along uh, Lime Creek. Had to do a little stop because the traffic was uh, backed up from an accident. And uh, we're doing biscuits and gravy this morning. So a little bit different. Worked out really well. I had uh, biscuits already pre-done. One of our goals for this uh, trip was that it was going to be a little bit more of a true overlanding trip, meaning that we don't really have set uh, plans as far as where we're going to stay. We didn't have to be in a certain place at any time. In other words, uh, when late afternoon came along, we uh, really wanted to just kind of think about where we're going to camp that night and uh, not worry about it until then. With this in mind, we didn't really have a plan as far as exactly where we were going. We, we kind of had some areas that we wanted to cover and we basically just uh, started into those uh, areas and, and uh, drove and explored as we went. So we drove through town and headed up Rastra uh, Gulch first. Uh, it's one of the first uh, uh, turn-offs from the main road coming out of town. And uh, we did some of the offshoots that come off of uh, Arastra as well. Arastra Gulch is a pretty amazing uh, climb out of the valley floor straight across from the, the sunflower mill. Uh, there were several cable systems going up that valley, even up over the hill that you see here into uh, the Silver Lake area. At the top of this is a parking area It's uh, by the sunflower mine and uh, we went ahead and uh, since it was open took a look inside. This mine still has a lot of amazing uh, equipment in it, uh, the ore cars and, uh, and see here even the, uh, the engines. It's also incredibly wet and uh, incl includes its own cloud system. We also took the offshoot from that uh, and went up to a little giant basin from there. So on this trip of course was me, uh, this is Ed in the Silver Wrangler and we have Dan in the FJ40. Mike was uh, in his Wrangler, not shown here, and then also is Jim in his uh, Forerunner, and I had my friend Bill along uh, riding with me. We also explored uh, Eureka Gulch and spent that night up at uh, Ross Basin near the top of Eureka Gulch uh, in a nice little uh, camp spot overlooking this beautiful uh, meadow with a stream running through it. It was a gorgeous night. Hello boys. The next day we headed up uh, Cunningham Gulch towards the Buffalo Boy Mine as our start and um, went from there. There's a lot of sheep in the area and uh, some of the uh, sheep dogs were taking a break. We woke up that morning to the smell of smoke and the uh, sky was definitely uh, filled with a lot more smoke and we kind of were a little bit worried about that and it turned out it was from all the way across the state near Rocky Mountain National Park. The wind is blowing it over this far. One of our first stops uh, towards the Buffalo Boy was this uh, mine along Sterling Gulch. Uh, it was kind of interesting. We had to cross a little creek and Dan had a little bit of a mishap doing that. From there we headed on up to the Buffalo Boy uh, tram house and mine and uh, explored around that area quite a bit and even went to the top of the hill above the mine here as well.
The next area we hit was Maggie Gulch, and at the very end of that uh, road is the Gold Nugget Mine. It's got a pretty good stamp mill there. Alright, here's uh, our camp from uh, day three. We're at uh, the bottom of Mini Gulch. It's a nice little uh, campsite in the woods with a creek running right next to it. Mike set up. We had a propane fire last night because there's a fire ban. There's a creek right by us. Ed slept in the Jeep last night. Dan uh, got his hammock out. And then there's uh, a gym. I'm just down the way, 20 yards. All right, day three breakfast. Something quick and easy. Bacon and pancakes. Can't go wrong. All right, this is precision pancaking. <laughs> Gotta have the grill at exactly the right temperature. Cooking with science. 350 to 400. Oh, shit. Our next area to explore was Mini Gulch, just down from Maggie Gulch, and uh, we went all the way to the end to the uh, mine that's at that uh, point. Here we are at Ed's uh, retirement village. After Mini Gulch, we headed up along the Animus River towards Animus Forks, but then we took the turn off to go up uh, Picayune uh, Gulch. This is two year old snow. Made it through two summers. I'm an avalanche two years ago, there was a big, a big snow year. We made a stop at the Treasure Mountain Mine up in this area and uh, this is where the weather decided to turn a little bit to the worst side of things and uh, we ended up in a pretty short amount of time getting a, a decent amount of snowfall. Most of the group at this point was uh, getting a little bit more worried about sliding off of the mountain uh, but uh, Bill and I decided to go ahead and go up over the pass towards the Sound Democrat Mill. Uh, and uh, basically down through California Gulch and meet the group uh, at Animus Forks. Living in Southern California, I don't get a lot of snow driving in anymore. Uh, this was my first real test of these. Uh, they were brand new uh, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrex and uh, they did wonderful in the snow. This whole trip I was uh, very happy with how they performed. We decided to head for lower elevations and by the time we got to town it was uh, coming down uh, sleet, snow, rain, everything at night, 30 mile an hour winds. It was not uh, conducive to camping so we ended up uh, grabbing a hotel room that night, not your normal uh, overlanding though. next day was looking a little bit better so we headed up the Cement Creek area out of Silverton and um, explored a lot of the offshoots there. This is up off of uh, Prospect Gulch and uh, 
There's a pretty nice uh, mine and uh, a little bit of a mill site at the very end of that. Nice views from up there. From the Gladstone Junction, we went up the uh, south fork of the Cement Creek and to the Velocity Basin area. It's a really gorgeous uh, uh, bowl up there. Next, we followed uh, Minnehaha Creek up to Minnehaha Basin area, and it's uh, quite a nice view from up there as well. Everything has got a great view up here. From there, we uh, checked out the mines at the Cement Creek area. That's kind of the headwaters of the Cement Creek. That's right below the main climb up to the uh, Hurricane Pass. From there we made the climb up to uh, Hurricane Pass itself. Where are we? After coming back down from Hurricane Pass, we uh, took the Corkscrew Gulch route over to Highway 550 and uh, made a stop at the town of Ironton. You can freeze the video and read about this ghost town right here. It's a pretty neat ghost town. Next we took the road that uh, takes you to the Yankee Girl Mine. It's a pretty cool uh, photo op, that's for sure. After this we took the Brooklyn Road, uh, kind of runs parallel to 550 up over the mountains uh, heading back towards South Middle Creek and Silverton area. It's kind of unique in this case, uh, it was uh, kind of melting and it got pretty muddy. You can see Mike sliding like crazy here, he uh, felt like he's going to slide off the mountain. Luckily it went uh, into the ditch in the middle but uh, basically for like 100 yards he wasn't able to get out of that. It was that, that slick of mud. I kept it, I think, a little bit more to the left, and uh, my new uh, dirt tracks did really well for me. I didn't really have any problems, so it worked out. Uh, next scene is uh, Jim kind of doing the same thing. He, he tried to do everything he could to stay out of it, but ended up sliding down that ditch and just having to wait it out and get to the bottom. So that evening, we decided to head up uh, South Mineral Creek, not that far from Silverton, to uh, look for a nice campsite there. And uh, there's a pretty good water crossing there. Got to film that. There's no two ways around that. All right, we're all set for another night. We're actually at the very end of the road of South Mineral Creek. And we are uh, down in the woods. And we are literally creekside. Bill's got his tent set up. We're gonna hear the creek all night long. This is Mike. Through here, got Jim set up with his, his setup. All right, here's our camp in the morning. There's the creek. I already got my tent put away. Just give you an idea what the view is like here too. It's gorgeous.
The next morning we actually stopped in town and had some funnel cake at our, one of our favorite restaurants. On our way uh, north we stopped at the uh, Frisco Mill and looked around there. It's quite the amazing uh, ruins of a mill. There's an amazing amount of it still Frisco intact mill. but yet there's a whole bunch of it gone. So it'd be really neat if they could uh, restore this. I think that'd be the, the project of the century. From the Frisco Mill, we were uh, going to head up towards Engineer Pass uh, and then basically not go up the pass, but head towards uh, Mineral Creek on the way to Uray. Um, we got up there and at one point it started snowing pretty good on us. Uh, we ended up in some rocks and some pretty slick area and uh, after a bit we basically decided we are going to need to turn around that we weren't going to make it. The whiteout was getting pretty bad too. I don't have any good uh, images of the whiteout, but it was it was a problem. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. My next video will be a continuation of this trip. Uh, look forward. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you on the trail.